Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox and I am so, so beyond excited for today's brand new video. It is going to be a segment in the Bretman Rock apartment makeover series. If you guys did not know, Bretman has just gotten an LA apartment because he's kind of like in between LA and Hawaii. Today, we are actually gonna be tackling kind of like the living room area. It's not going to be a one day process at all, but I'm kind of gonna start in the living room, which I am honestly most excited about because I feel like the living room space is where you can have the most fun in an apartment. Of course, you can have fun in the bedroom, but I want to also keep the bedroom kind of calming at the same time to where the living room is just kind of like a really, really fun, bold Bretman space. And then the bedroom is still like a touch of Bretman, but also a little bit more of like a sleeping environment and more calming environments. So that's kind of my thought process of the bedroom space and then of course the living room space. So you can already kind of see a peek of the couch. And in my first video of this mini series, I kind of shared with you guys my thought process, the design aesthetic, why I chose these pieces, where they're going to go and why they fit the space the best, I personally think. But I think we should honestly just start putting this stuff together because it's going to take me a couple days to finish all of these spaces. Okay, okay, okay. This is what we have so far. The couch has arrived from Article. We also have the amazing media con how pretty is this media console you guys I also got this article by the way this video is not sponsored purchased all of this with the budget that was provided by Bretman I think it's gonna look so pretty in here I still have to piece them together because I was moving them around they piece together there and we are gonna be wallpapering this entire wall putting a neon sign right there and how perfect they knew we were hanging a neon sign neon signs going on this wall I also got a pumpkin spice latte because I'm basic and they came out today so I figured you know why not grab one because I actually I actually really like these. They are so good. Oh my god, it's literally impossible. Okay, and this is what the wallpaper looks like. It's like black and blue, and it's a leaf pattern because Bretman is from Hawaii. I still want to include a little bit of that traditional kind of like Hawaiian, very leafy pattern, but I also wanted it to be in a cool color. So I liked this blue tone. This is going out on that entire back wall behind the couch. I don't know how you would restart because there's black indicator lines in the sides and it's talking about stuff about aligning things up, going from right to left, top to bottom, bottom to top. I'm just gonna wing it and hope it works, guys. I don't know what else to do. All right guys, so I've applied two panels of the wallpaper and this wallpaper is so extremely hard to match up. I swear that when you start from the top, as it's hanging, it's stretching. So it's like literally impossible to get these to match up, not matched up. Like it looks kind of matched up in these areas and the darker areas, but when you get to the brighter sections, it does not. But honestly, when you take a step back, it looks fine. Like it looks like it blends together pretty nicely. All right, so I'm at the point where we need to remove all of the little uh, covers for these. So I got a screwdriver. I'm gonna remove those just like this. So those are all taken off and I'm basically just gonna wallpaper directly over the top and then use my X-Acto knife to cut out this area here. And then I'm gonna do a DIY wallpapered cover. So I'm gonna cover the actual covers with wallpaper, which I'll show you in just a couple of minutes. Guys, the wall is completely wallpapered. That took me about two and a half hours, a little bit of time, but it honestly was pretty repetitive, so it wasn't too bad. I think it just embodies like the most perfect wallpaper I could have gotten for this space. And keep in mind, this green couch is gonna go in front of it. Like, look at that together. And the neon sign is gonna be really big above the couch. Yes, so excited about this. Okay guys, it's basically the moment of truth. I'm kind of scared. I'm hoping that this 
rug looks nice and the colors are good. So as you guys can maybe, oh, you can't even see the rug. This is what it looks like. It's big chunks of color. I don't know if I want the blue colors to be in the front more or if I want the lighter colors to be in the front. I kind of am leaning more towards the lighter tones to be in the front and then these two to be a bit more covered by the couch. Okay, she's coming along guys. She is coming along. She's actually, the rug's actually kind of a bit bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So I thought, so I thought, so I thought I needed it. So I thought, so I thought, so I thought I needed it. Mm -hmm. So the rug just is not my favorite cup of tea ever, which I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with it. And I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to get a new one in here because this is a really large rug. I'm honestly very happy this apartment complex has this cart, but it's also kind of hard just taking all the stuff up by myself. However, I'm not complaining. I actually didn't even know they had the luggage cards until they saw me struggling with huge boxes in the cameras and then asked if I needed one of these, so I already brought up all the big boxes. So now I'm just bringing up the smaller items I could have brought up by myself. Good morning, guys. It is September 5th right now. I'm over here bright and early. It is currently 10.30. I guess it's not too bright, but I actually am waiting for the neon sign install to happen today. I completely forgot about it. I mean, I didn't, but my calendar reminded me of it, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to go over to Bretman's today. I was going to be at home editing the first part of this video, but I'm here, actually, so I'm going to start editing here. Um, I literally have so much to finish. I'm so scared. It is Thursday. All I have left is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so I have four full days. Oh my Oh my gosh, the neon sign was just installed. I have it really dark so you guys can see it, but look how freaking good this sign looks. Like I am honestly completely shook right now. I absolutely love it. This just created the space. Like I swear guys, this looks like a full on set, which I'm so excited about. I think Bretman's going to love it, but there's still so much to do. I just wanted to share it with you guys. Okay, I'm gonna take the console out. This is that acrylic console that I was so excited CBQ had because I just expected them not to have this in stock. Like, this is a big item to store in your Hollywood location, you know? So this is the, the acrylic console. I'm so strong. I feel like a lot of people kind of get these in coffee table form, but I got the console form because I have nothing for this wall right here, and I figured this would be the perfect addition. Look who I'm talking to. I look disgusting, hello. No, Rachel, you look so fresh and clean. I feel like we are literally swapping worlds. Like you're over there like doing the most with tools. I know, I really am. I was. I was just showing Rachel how I got out the kitchen island here and it is literally a 90 pound slab. The whole entire kitchen island, so we'll do that now. Okay, so I'm actually gonna be doing a little custom alteration to this island. Basically, there is supposed to be a, another shelf that goes right here, which is the one right here. I'm actually not going to even put it. These are super sturdy, and I actually saw a couple people on Amazon who said they have not put the shelf here, and it has held up really great. So I'm going to do that because I have stools that are gonna slide under this, and if I put this shelf all the way at the bottom, which typically is nice if you need more storage, I just went ahead and constructed these two counter stools from CB2. These are the Phoenix stools in ivory. If you are curious, they're like a leather base. And they have a silver on the bottom. And I'm hoping that they will perfectly fit underneath the island. I need to give this place a good vacuuming before putting all this over there. But basically, these two pieces are going in the kitchen. 
Okay, I'm in the bedroom right now because I want to share with you guys. I just unboxed all the Society6 prints I got. This is the largest one. I got this ocean-themed print just because I feel like it was kind of Hawaii, but also still could be LA. And it's just a pretty print in general. There's some surfers on it. And then I got this print here, which is kind of like an abstract one. And a couple more. This one I thought would be really cute in the bathroom. It says chill out. And then here's a couple other ones that I got. I love the butt one because I feel like Bretman's very butt-related. Like, he loves a good butt workout you know so and then this one of course because he loves a good blunt so got that one too and then this one's really cool it's like yellow i wanted to do a little pop of color the tv was just mounted on the wall i had a task rabbit come do it and he literally did such a great job it looks amazing this is not pushed back yet because i need to vacuum all of it and then put all of these inside of here so i will see you all tomorrow because i'm going to be spending almost all day tomorrow completely decorating and i think tomorrow is going to be really the transformative day of the apartment I brought Marie with me today because today is kind of like decorating day and I'm going to be trying to really finish off both the living room and the kitchen area today. My hair looks crazy because we legit took down all the boxes this morning. I brought the Dyson, which you guys have seen before. This is an amazing vacuum. We're gonna vacuum everything and then I'm gonna pull the kitchen island over to this space here. <laughs> curious about any of the decor that I bought for the apartment I'm going to try to link all of the pieces that I did use in the description box below so you could find them but I also want to mention that some of the pieces are from Target they're from Anthropology. I bought a lot from CB2 this little black plant here is actually from the Target Halloween section believe it or not I just thought it was such a cool element to the space and I got a chunky knit throw for the chair I'm just adding a lot of fun textures and colors including a wicker basket from Target as well All right, so moving on to this wall here, which is kind of by the entryway door when you walk in. I want to put the acrylic console on this more straight section of the wall right here. And then on this section here, I didn't know what to do. So I figured I would hang this really, really pretty mirror right on this wall. So it's like an exit mirror. So I actually picked this print for Bratman because I thought it was really cool with the yellow, but he also was in a really fun Nike campaign. So I thought this was kind of like a perfect little picture because it's like graphic and artistic, but it's still like Nike on brand, you know? And then right in the middle of all the styling, the electrician came and they hung the light in the living room and the bedroom. So for the kitchen space, there honestly wasn't much I can do because it has new cabinets, already has a black splash that's pretty nice, it has pretty decent countertops. But I did go ahead and add the island to the space and also the two counter stools here which are from CD2, which I think turned out super cute. And then I just did like very minimal styling in the kitchen area. There actually are a couple more things I want to get from Crate and Barrel just to put um, kind of on the backsplash area. All right, so we are basically on the last day of this apartment, which is absolutely crazy for the living room space, at least. Uh, I actually spent all morning going all the way to Orange County, about an hour and a half away to pick up some faux plants from CB2. I got these two huge plants, which I just knew they needed to have in the apartment. Like I just knew this space needed them. I got one for the bedroom, one for the living room, potted those, and I also hung up the mirror. And that honestly kind of finished off the living room and kitchen.
So I think through the craziness of filming this entire apartment, I actually completely forgot to film an outro for this specific video. I was filming three videos at the same time, so I kind of got a little bit mind boggled, but I'm going to leave you guys on just a little bit of a cliffhanger. So you're going to have to wait until next episode to see the reveal of this apartment. Oh, and I'm a fucking genie.